Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Renee Carlson, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take off my clothes. <laughs> we have this to talk about. This was my dinner actually last night, Chipotle, but in here, <laughs> I have my current new drugstore faves and fancy Sephora fails. So a lot of you guys have requested a video like this. Hopefully I'm coming through and delivering what you wanted. If you like favorites videos and videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. I am open to feedback or suggestions or anything like that. So without further ado, let me take my clothes off and let's get into this much better. We'll see how this stays on. I mean, I've already taken pictures of this look and everything I will hopefully, by the time this video goes up, have it on my Instagram page, Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below, of course, as per usual. This is from Fashion Nova, and if anybody cares, it does kind of go a little high there because these are high waisted jeggings from Express. I feel like everybody and their mom has been talking about Sephora, showing stuff from Sephora. So I wanted to basically come through with not loving what I got at Sephora. And this doesn't mean that these products are bad. It's just they didn't work for me personally. And my mom actually uh, definitely agreed that I looked like a corpse. Take off that lipstick. <laughs> because why? Because you look dead and it makes me not like it. I don't like to look at you like that. I'm just going to dump this out so it's not an eyesore. Let's start with skincare. I have tried so many uh, moisturizers and creams from the drugstore, like the L'Oreal Revitalift, regular Olay, like the Regenerous one, whatever that is, all of them to me, and I have oily combo skin, but all of them tend to be greasy and kind of leave this residue on your skin. But this Olay, the Total Effects Whip, this stuff, it has a good consistency to it. And it just, even my mom was using it the other day. It has like a nice, light scent. It does have that Olay type of scent to it. You know what I'm talking about. But it just soaks into the skin. It's a really light weight, almost gel-like consist <laughs> consistency. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite drugstore cream Ever. Then I have a primer from Wet n Wild. This is the Impossible Primer Base. I did use this today. Gotta love that holographic packaging. So the claims on this really got me. It is the one silicone free primer that does it all. So on the back, it says it mattifies, it hydrates, it blurs pores, it preps skin for lasting makeup, and it's impossibly silicone free. Uh, as you can see the consistency here, 
it does a really good job of blurring my pores without being greasy or heavy or anything like that. So I am super impressed and super happy since I've been trying out this Wet n Wild Impossible. I almost dropped it, I dropped everything. Uh, so definitely recommend that. It is inexpensive and I would say that it's better than a lot of the primers I have tried from Sephora. So definitely check this out. Blushes, I have got to talk about. So I have a cream one, the Milani. This is the cream blush in Cheek Kiss in Blushing Berry 130. So I am wearing this today. It just gives this really, really pretty flushed look. Of course, I have on bronzer and highlighter as well, but the blush is just in the middle there. So what I like to do is just use my finger and dab it on. What I like about this Milani one specifically is that it doesn't disrupt my foundation or makeup or putting things on top like highlighter. It didn't seem to really affect any of that and it's just, it's my type of blush that I'm going for these days. This poor arm is going to have all kinds of products on it. So as you can see, it's just got this beautiful berry shade to it. It does kind of pull red when you first put it on, but I just was able to blend it out. I don't ever use like a beauty blender or anything guys like I'm not a sponge girl I'm a brush girl or a fingers <laughs> if I can't use a brush I will get in with my fingers that's why they're always dirty if you don't love cream blushes or you just you know want to go with powder something easy I definitely recommend the NYX sweet cheeks they have matte ones they have ones that have a little bit of shimmer in it this is the shade summer breeze i wore this the other day but i've been wearing this one a lot it's perfect for summer <laughs> do a little swatch here we'll go but look at that and it just is they're so blendable and pigmented and I just love them. So highly recommend <laughs> trying this blush out. Hopefully you won't get one in the store that has been slapped by me. So if you know me, you know that I am not a huge fan of Morphe, but I do have to give a quick shout out to this bronzer. This isn't one that I would recommend for contouring, but if you're looking for that all over sun-kissed bronze look, this is great. It does have kind of a matte and a shimmer side. I have a lot of light in front of me, so this actually is pulling quite lighter than it is in person but this is the shade Vlogger, I believe. It's, it's like a medium sort of bronze, and when you mix the two together, it doesn't accentuate texture, and it just kind of blends into your skin, and I've tried it over foundation. I've also tried it without any foundation on, just like need some color before I run out of the house type look and it does great. So I do recommend this. I actually do. One more thing from the drugstore, the e.l.f. Wow Brow. What I love about this is the tiny little brush spoolie. So it's really easy to get inside where you put 
your brow powder or your brow pencil or whatever it is that you drew your eyebrows on with. This just has a really small brush, so it's able to tame all those hairs and really just make it stick. I think it's like two or three dollars, so definitely recommend. Okay, now I know that it seemed like everybody loved these Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. These, uh, well, let me just be honest. I have tried them a few times. I washed my face and put this on and went out into the living room to watch some TV. And I noticed that it never really soaked into my skin. These just like sat on my skin. I say these because it's called dew drops, but I mean, it's just a liquid and I just felt sticky. I felt like I was in Florida when I stepped outside. It just didn't work for my skin. I gotta give a shout out to uh, Gucci. Unfortunately, this lipstick shade specifically, I do love the tinted balm I have. It has the flowered packaging. This has the gold, but I have been wanting this shade which is Carol Beige 103. I've been wanting this shade for a while, so I had it in my cart for the Sephora sale. I finally got it. I was all excited the other day to put it on, and I looked like a corpse. I like that Gucci has kind of stepped out of the norm with their shades. See, on the skin, it doesn't look like it would be that bad. I thought it might be a little close to Myth from MAC or more kind of on the gray side. That's why I wanted it, but it is going back for sure. I mean, this was $40. And I also have to note that I don't love the fragrance. If you're that type of person that has a problem with fragrance, like that slight perfumey smell on your lips, then you're probably not gonna like these Gucci lipsticks. I know they have different formulas. This happens to be a matte finish, but Carol Beige just, we don't get along. It is being returned along with the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. So yeah, that's about it. That's everything I wanted to fill you guys in on, let you know, and now I can return these. I have been waiting to get some makeup on my face and do this video so that I can go return these and get my money back and spend it on something that I'm actually going to like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I keep you guys updated as to what's going on, what's coming next, giveaways for example. So follow me on there and make sure to subscribe while you're here. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you.